Hello to fans, this is the Scott Clown here to do an unboxing and unwrapping, you know, an uncover of Godzilla vs. Khan, the movie, the 2021 movie, baby. Alright, so I just got this today, and look at that beautiful ass fucking cover. I was recently at the dollar store, uh, um, was it like two or two days ago, and they had this movie over there. Look about what twenty, I mean twenty nineteen ninety five. I paid like about twenty six dollars for this or twenty seven. Um, but um, the reason I didn't get that one is because I didn't like the cover. You know how um, you know that cover of Godzilla swimming to Khan. It says King Khan. I mean Godzilla versus King Khan. Um, well Khan. Um, it's a good poster. It's a good poster to have in your room and all that shit. But when it comes to a DVD cover, that should not be the DVD cover. I'm sorry. When I saw that, I had a bad taste in my mouth. I'm like, you have this cover, or you have the other cover when Godzilla and Khan are fighting each other and shit underwater. That shit would have been fucking awesome as the cover as the fucking DVD. But they picked this one, which is fine. I like this one too. I love it. You know how sometimes they might have the slick, um, you know, the same, um, pretty cool, but then the, the cover might be like, oh, it's not as good or vice versa. Well, this one is the same, which is good. To me, I think this one's a little brighter. Um, I, I mostly because I guess the plastic, but to me, it looks a little bit more bigger, like the, like the, um, like the screen. I mean, not the screen, like the picture's more whitening. Kind of looks like that. Yeah, it kind of does look like that. That's just me. That's just me. So without further ado, let's open this baby, you know? So I did enjoy the movie, Godzilla vs. Khan. I thought the movie was great. As a spiritual enlightenment way, this movie was talking about all color people, which is Godzilla, fighting these orcs, these white people, which is monkeys. Wait, what do you think? Who are monkeys? Who are the Neanderthals? Nothing against white people, but that's what you are. You guys are, your history is from Neanderthals. You guys used to be chimpanzees. Right? Well, not chimpanzees. Um, a, a hybrid of a of a monkey. And most people are like, so were you? Um, um, so called black person, Hispanic person. Actually, no. Our origins is way different. We came from the stars. All right. And a long time ago, there's a reason why they call us niggas. All right. It's because we turned into dragons. Yes. Search up um Naginis and Nagas. All right. These are true. Yo, this is dope. This is really dope. Um, comes with a, you know, obviously Blu-ray, DVD, and, um, a, a digital. I'm not gonna show you the digital. I might just save that for either, I might give it to my friend. Cause, um, um, he, he, he's always told me, hey, if you get, like, a, a digital thing, can you, like, give it to me and all that? But, like, yeah, you know what? Why not? Um, cause he wanted, he wanted me to give him the ones of the Alien series. And I threw them all away. <laughs> he's like, all of them? I'm like, all of them. I, you could have watched all the Alien franchises on your phone, dude. But I threw all of them away. This is a dope, dope CDs, man. Obviously, you got the DVD, Blu-ray right here, but they're both cool. The DVD has Godzilla's feet while the Blu-ray has Khan's feet. That is badass, and they're both green. You know, one is a little bit more um, greener than the other. This one's more green because it's Godzilla. This one's a little bit less green. But, yo, that is dope. Uh, you probably can't see Khan's feet. Well, you can see it a little bit. I'm trying to give you a good... You know, but you can see Godzilla's feet clearly. This is dope. This is really cool, actually. Um, yeah, you know, that's it. This is all the cover right here. You know, if you want to put it on the side, I'll put it on the side, you know, just to show you how the length of it is there, you know. I could, all right, fine, I'll take the DVDs out. I'll take the CDs out, I mean. So, there it is, you know, looking cool, really, really cool. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's go to the Blu-ray now. Come on. Okay. Don't mess with the Blu-ray. Okay. Now you can kind of see Khan's feet a little bit. So. So that's really it. You know, these are. These are really good. You know, I love the movie. I really do. Um. Some people might, again, some people might be uh, not be a big fan of the Hollow Earth, but again, going back, if you watch, if you, t hey, look, this is, I'm a, I'm a in, in tune a spiritual person. 
and these movies show me other things that you guys are not seeing, basically. And I've mentioned that a whole bunch of times before. I mean, for kind of like my last video, I kind of ranted of me basically telling you about it. But I'm not going to do that here. Uh, it's, this is just about an unboxing, unwrapping, basically, of the DVD. So I like it. Um, well, Blu-ray and all that. I like it. Would you get it? You know, um, I highly recommend watching this movie if you're a Godzilla or, or a Khan fan. Um... And if you want to know more knowledge of like, you know, just to get educational wise, if you want to, if you're looking at movies at educational purposes, this is a must. This is a must. All right. Talked about Hollow Earth. You have fucking Khan. You have fucking Khan grabbing a tree and breaking the fucking um, screen where he's at, hinting the Hollow Earth type of thing. Not the not the Hollow Earth. The whole um d dome. Like there's a dome around us. Uh, most people are like, oh, but, but wouldn't it be hot if it was a dome? No, you see, have you ever seen the um, show, The Dome? Um, it's all like, it's all about electricity. It, it is. That's why um, when it says don't trespass in some areas, that's because they don't want you to trespass and go over that um, line. And then you actually see what's beyond the dome, basically, you know, because the dome is really just. It's like you can go right through it anytime you want. You can go right through it right now. But there's places around here that they make sure that they don't want you to go to. That's why they put um, signs like no trespassing, for example. But that's the reason I say that. But anyways, get this movie. I, ha I highly recommend it. And it's not a bad price. You know, I think the original price was about $30. I think it was. I think it was. But let me put this there. Uh, digital pack here and look at this look at it. this shows oh why would you show that movie there all right they have godzilla godzilla king of the monsters con and then fucking meg why would you put meg there and i just saw a collection that they had godzilla con um king of the monsters and, and um i mean godzilla um then godzilla king of the monsters and also con they had those um together too with um godzilla versus um con so, you can get that. I was going to get it, but I'm like, eh, I'm good. I'd rather get just this separate, you know, so. And I could put this in my Enlightenment um shelf and all that, which is over here. These are all my movies of my spiritual Enlightenment right here. These are all it. It, it starts from a, um, Alien vs. Predator, and it ends all the way to the Dark Crystal. Where does this go in the timeline? Um, they do talk about Hall of Earth and all that, and it is about all people in ancient times, so it probably should go, like, around somewhere in the beginning right here. Like, maybe, it was, maybe like, the beginning usually is at the end of maybe Alien versus Pre I mean, Alien series. So, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, like, make sure and see it, because there's other movies that talk about the Hall of Earth, just like Mo Super Mario Brothers, um, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and Land of the Lost. Those movies talk about the Hollow Earth. And then some people think it's always fake and shit, but why do they always talk about the Hollow Earth? Again, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to make you guys think here. All right. Just really, that's really it. So that's it, guys. I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to get some, you know, probably some, probably smoke some weed, you know, smoke some nature and, you know, watch some, you know, Godzilla and Kong. All right. What you going to do, you know? Um,. Who knows, if you have this movie already, hell, let's watch it together. Why not? If you ever want to do, like, um, not a YouTube live stream, because I can't live stream on YouTube. I wish I can, but um, on on Facebook. If you want to just text me on Facebook and all that and watch the movie simultaneously and talk about it, we can do that. You know, I did that to the um, the Myers fan. Me and him, we watched Nightmare on Elm Street 2 a long time ago, and we are just talking about it uh, with the movie and all that, which was fun. It was really, really fun. I liked it. And at the end of the movie, me and him talked over the phone and stuff. And he was like, you know, it really wasn't that bad. And we both agreed. It's not a bad movie, you know. Um, does it have flaws? Yeah. But I really love Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I really do, you know. Romania loves that movie. <laughs> have you heard that? Robert England said it. But I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm just a fan of movies and all of this stuff. Um, that's how you know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. And you know what? We are nerds in a way, you know. So I'll see you guys later and be safe.